these new powers, I feel incredible! Hello everyone and welcome, my name's Ali, yeah, thank you for tuning in for a new video today I'm going to be doing my very first Minecraft mod review where I take a look at a very cool mod for Minecraft, share it with you guys, let you know how it works and uh, hopefully you really enjoy it. If you'd like me to do more mod reviews, let me know down below in the comment section or hit the like button. Uh, up until this point, or I guess over the last year, I've just been learning more and more about Minecraft. And now I feel I know uh, enough about Minecraft or uh, enough knowledge to try out some of these mods that I think are really cool and share them with you guys. So let's jump straight into it. And as you may have guessed from this intro, the mod is going to be incredible. It's going to be absolutely awesome. So for any of you guys that have seen the incredible movie. If you haven't, go and watch it. It's pretty damn awesome. It's kind of old now. This can give you the abilities of the different incredible characters and also some awesome armor to wear, which is very cool indeed. But before we get into how you can actually craft this stuff, we need to go on a little bit of a mission outside of the mod showcase room that I've built here and uh, go on a little bit of a wonder. Oh, what, what's that over there? What's that over there? I see. Oh, Oh, what is this? Oh, this ore, my friends, is the Incredibles ore, or the Incredi ore. And if you actually mine it, you can actually get yourself the Incredible ore. Now, it doesn't turn straight into the actual ore itself. You've got to plop it into a furnace. Look at this. Perfect furnace ready for us to smelt. And uh, once you've done a little bit of smelting, it'll actually come out as the pieces that you will need to craft the armor that we're going to be taking a look at. And it's very cool indeed. So it will come out like this and we'll get ourselves some incredible essence, which is very, very awesome. But we'll leave that there for the moment. We don't need that anymore. We've taken a look at the ore, which is very cool indeed. But now that we know how to get the ore, how do we make the very awesome costume? So... The costume that you see here comes in four parts, just like a normal armor would. And if you take a look in the chest here, we can see exactly how all the armor pieces are made. So it's essentially made in the exact same way you'd make um, any other armor pieces for the different uh, positions. So the helmet, the chest, the leggings and the feet, except you are using the incredible essence. Now, each of these armor pieces actually come with their own ability. So let's give them a go. Let's put them on. I wonder how fancy we look with the different armor on. How does Alie look with the incredible, um, with the incredible stuff on? You guys tell me, do I look fancy? Do I look pretty damn? Wow, I look like a massive nerd with my glasses on. I'm like, hey guys, hey guys, I'm here to, here to be an incredible. Um, but each of the different pieces of uh, armor actually offer different abilities. So the, um, the helmet or the goggles offer night vision. Uh, the chest, I believe, offers regeneration. The Actually, we can check and see exactly what does what. So, yep, the, the um, chest does regeneration, the leggings does resistance, and the boots does fire resistance. So when you wear them, you are going to be pretty damn invulnerable and also pretty damn awesome. But let's, let's leave them alone for a second there. Um, put them back in the chest for the moment, exactly where they came from. Awesome. Now, over here, you can see that we actually have another set of uh, armor. And this is for the character, I believe he's called Mr. Freeze or the Freezer, Freeze guy. And he's very, very cool. And he has very cool abilities within this mod. So if we take a look in the chest, we can see if we take the four pieces of armor that we've just made over on the left here, but add on a snowball, we can actually turn in Frozone. There you go, Frozone. He's a very cool character. It's like quite a small sort of part in the film, but he was very cool. Uh, you've got Frozone's helmet, leggings, chest plate, and boots. And this is awesome. I'm not going to lie. Now, for this, I'm not actually going to... Wear the armor inside, all right? We've got to go outside for this, otherwise it becomes kind of dangerous. So let's go out into the wild. Where should we go? Let's go out here. This looks like quite a nice open space. Oh, what's that building over there? I don't know. It's quite cool. But let's actually try on this armor and show you guys what it does. So not only do you get all the abilities as if you were uh, the Incredibles or using the Incredible armor, but notice how there's ice underneath me. And this, my friends actually allows you, if I go into F5 mode, it's probably even better, actually allows you to be frozen and wherever you walk, the ice will follow you. How sick is that? So it's awesome for getting across different areas and flying around. The only thing is, if you go up, you can't go down. Like the only way you can get down is by taking the armor off and falling down. So you've got to be careful, you've got to be tactical. So let's see if we can go for a tactical drop here. If I walk over this, 
I take off all the armor, I should... Plop! There we go, be able to fall straight back into the water. We're good, we're fine and dandy. Now, in terms of the ice you can see up there, the ice will actually uh, despawn and uh, go away when you disconnect from your world and reconnect from your world. So there won't be like ice absolutely everywhere, which is good. So you'll still be able to, you won't like sort of destroy your world when you're using the armor, basically. So that's a look at the very, very cool armor. I think it looks pretty awesome. I dig the um, the incredible suit and the function of the um, awesome armor from Frozone is very cool indeed. So I'm just going to put all of that back. Now, if you guys have seen the incredible films, you'll actually know that the family members within the films all have their own abilities. So over here, we've actually got some special abilities that we can use. We've got Strength, who's the dad. We've got Invisibility, who's the daughter. We've got Speed, who's the son. And we've got Flexibility, who's the mum. And there is actually a little kid, like a little baby. And I'm, I can't remember. I think his ability is like, he's got like a million abilities, if I remember correctly. But he's not included within the mob. I'm just thinking about the film there. I've also got Frozone's ability as well, which is very, very cool. So let's take a look at Frozone's ability first. To craft this, all we've got to do, um, basically within a 3x3 three three, um, crafting area, is get a piece of ice in the top left and fill in the rest of the spots with the incredible essence that we've got to mine from somewhere. And then if we take the actual... Wait, will it be able to... Yes, 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 yes. Oh, if we take the awesome ice power ability, we can throw an absolute button... Of snowballs baby now it doesn't actually like uh, turn anything to ice when you hit anything but this is quite actually you know what this will it do any damage to the pig will it kill the pig will it kill him or not I don't think it will I think if it was it would take an absolute age but to have both Frozone's ability uh, in costume form and also Frozone's ability uh, with this awesome ice power uh, ability is very very cool indeed but we're gonna put it back on the sign there. I'm going to put it back in its original position. And uh, that's Frozone's ability, which is awesome. But we've still got four more abilities to show you guys. Next up, we've got Strength. So to get Strength, you need Obsidian to replace um, the position in which the ice was there. So Strength and Obsidian, the powerfulest, strongest um, ore within... Or, Strongest block, I guess, within Minecraft. Again, filling in the rest of the blocks with the incredible essence. And then we are going to get get ourselves power of strength. Now, it's worth noting that when you give yourself and use these abilities, you will, uh, you will get rid of it. I'm just going to quickly get myself some food. Uh, what shall I? What shall I go for? What shall I nom on? I'm going to nom on some pork chops. I'm going to give myself some pork chops to to nom on. It's worth noting that when you use these abilities, they are one use only. So once you activate them, they will be gone, and then you'll have to make them again if you want to use them again. So let's go outside. Let's activate the strength power, and we can see that it gives us haste. And it also gives us strength. So look at my fists. Look how quickly my fists move. I'm destroying pigs in two hits. My hands are moving mad, mad quickly. So if I go and give myself something like a sword. Uh, let's give myself uh, a beautiful diamond sword. Um, and actually use this with the strength ability. It means I can swing this thing so, so quick. Look at that. It's absolutely crazy. And also have mad, mad strength, which is insane. Now, as you can see, this actually lasts forever. So it lasts for as long as you want to uh, have it going. It's absolutely crazy. If you want to take on any big bosses or any big mobs, this is definitely the way to go about it. Now, if you want to actually remove the abilities, you need the power remover. The power remover can't be crafted currently within the mod. You just have to spawn it in within uh, creative mode. But once you then use that, um, it'll actually get rid of the abilities that you have activated, which is cool. So they are now gone and we're now back to normal. We're back to peasant land. We we're just a normal person. But next up, we've got invisibility. So for invisibility, we've got glass in the top left and the rest with incredible essence. You can probably guess how this works, my friend. This is, as I said, the daughter. Um, so when we activate this, we will be completely invisible, which is pretty damn awesome. I like it. It would have, I guess, good effects if maybe you're playing with some friends and you're all, all using the mod within a world, because you could really sneak up on someone, bum me, and rather than then, uh, say, crafting the potion of, of invisibility, this is going to last, last forever. So this cow, no idea where this has been hit from. That cow, confused, mate. No idea 
there thinking, what on earth is going on? What's this invisible, invisible person doing? Just being an absolute lunatic. So very, very cool ability. Lasts for a long time. Again, we're just going to activate um, the ability here to get rid of the power remover and take a look at the next one. Now, these can be stacked, I believe. So I think you can use them all at the same time. Maybe at the end of the video, we'll use all of them at the same time and see how crazy it is. Now, this mod... This one, sorry, is one of my favorites. I think the stretchy one's probably my favorite out of all of them. But this is the speed power. We're using sugar in the top left. So sugar like sugar rush, going crazy, all of this energy. And once you use this, this is going to make you turn into a lunatic. So we're going to right close this. Bam, baby. Bam. This is so awesome. Look how far we go. We sprint. Like an absolute madman. Very, very effective for getting across the world. But it's worth noting your jump isn't going to change. Your jump is still the normal height, the normal distance. But, actually, to be fair, I guess since you're sprinting, the jump distance is further. But the height in which you jump is the same. So you can't, like, do any super jumps of this ability. Um, but if we remove that, that's now three of the four incredible powers. And the final one... It's a flexibility power. So this is crafted by using leather in the top left, and then incredible essence in the rest of the spots. Now, technically, um, within the uh, within the films, the flexibility one means that the woman and the mum can actually stretch really, really far. An absolutely crazy, crazy ability. Um, but within Minecraft, it's a little bit different. So if we activate this, this is actually going to give us a little bit of a speed boost. Not quite as much as... Um, the speed one we were just using a second ago because there's a huge jump boost, which is awesome. So this is more sort of like, I guess, stretchy legs and just stretchy, stretchy muscles, meaning you can do really super crazy things, which is awesome. Look how high you can jump. You've got to be careful, though. If you jump too high and fall from too great a distance, you're going to be hurting yourself. But I think that's really, really cool indeed. Now, that has pretty much rounded up all of the mods. But I would love to use them all at the same time. I think you guys probably would too. So, should we go all out? Should we? Hmm, let's go and apply all of the Incredibles gear. Hopefully this works. Um, let's apply. Let's get hold of that. Let's get hold of that. We're going all in. We're breaking... Breaking the mod review here just to use this all up. And we're going to activate all of them. And hopefully they all work at the same time. So we're going to go for flexibility, speed, invisibility, strength. They are there stacking hardcore. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Have I got a sword still? i got a sword. Look at this. I'm a mad man. Take me on. Take me on, baby. I am just absolutely superhuman right now. But I've got a challenge. And I've got a crazy, crazy challenge. So just behind here, it's a little bit of a secret, my friend. There's this chest. But what's in here? This is a spawn robot. So if you guys have ever seen the film, there's a huge, huge robot who actually, I believe, Mr. Incredible takes on. Um, he actually fixes his back, if I remember correctly. I don't know why I remember that. But he is a huge, huge robot. Will we be able to take him on with all of our abilities? Hopefully so. So I'm going to spawn him in. He's pretty damn huge, guys. Where, actually, maybe I should find the more... Where should, should I go? In a, I'm going to go over here. I think it's a little bit more open over here. A lot of grass, but it's a little bit more open. We're going to spawn in this bad boy. Holy cow, he's absolutely huge. Can we take him on? This is incredible power, but if you go too close, he will start attacking us. So he's got like a sort of force field around him. But because you've got all of these crazy, crazy abilities with generation and everything, it's insane. I think if we can get close enough, we've hit him once. Oh, he's down in two hits. He is absolutely no match for us at all. The Incredibles are just way, way too powerful. But guys, that's going to round up my very first mod review. I tried to set it up in the best way possible so it's easy to understand. Fun to use and hopefully you guys have really enjoyed it. If you'd like to see some more mod reviews and have enjoyed this one, then please just spend a second clicking that like button. Really, really appreciate it. This has been an awesome, awesome mod. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Check out more videos and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.